What's going on? Today we will be talking about the latest vulnerability WordPress has been exposed to. The vulnerability uh, is CVE 2021-29447. I know the number doesn't make sense to you, but let's talk about what the vulnerability, uh, what what are the impacts of the vulnerability. So basically, uh, first the first thing in the vulnerability, if we go, this is the page on the CVE details. You can check it out. But actually, I have taken my notes on this CVE. So I wanted to tell you here. Uh, let's go to public exploit. So. This vulnerability here, it has two impacts. The first one, arbitrary file disclosure and server-side request forgery. So basically, if your WordPress is vulnerable to CVE 2021-29447, it means that anyone, or not anyone actually, as we will see, it means that every file on your WordPress installation might be exposed, such as the WB config. And of course, server side request forgery, which we have talked about before. Um, now, what are the requirements? So, if you want to exploit or if you found that one site is vulnerable to CVE 2021 WordPress, to exploit this vulnerability first, you will have to have an authenticated access to WordPress, meaning you will have to have a username and password to access the WordPress panel, right? This is one requirement. And the second one, Permissions to upload to the media library as you will see. So let's take an example site and talk about that, shall we? Yep, okay. Uh, just a second, my notes are disappeared. I want to just make sure. All right, so here's the CVE details. Now, this is an example site we have. Now, how do we know that this site or WordPress site is actually vulnerable to that CV, right? Good question. Now, we, what we use, we use WB scan. So, the command that I'm running now, WB scan, dash dash URL, and dash dash enumerate. Here we enumerate the plugins, the themes, the database, everything on WordPress, right? We enumerate everything with this command. So, let's see what do we got. Scrolling down the way, we see here that the WordPress version is 5.6.2, identified and uh, identified as insecure. So, but we don't know yet what kind of vulnerability the this WordPress version is exposed to. Scrolling down, we see the uh, tool is still enumerating the themes and possibly looking for the vulnerabilities. Now, without waiting for that. We can just uh, look at the WordPress version. So what was WordPress version? Do you remember? Nope, I don't think so. It's 5.6.2. So if we go to WordPress 5.6.2 vulnerabilities. Let's see if the CVE we are talking about is actually within the list. WB scan WordPress vulnerability database. Let's talk, let's see that. All right, so WB scan. Here the page listed the vulnerabilities of that version. Now, the one that we want to talk about is this one. Authenticated XML external injection within the media library affecting PHP eight. So you got what I mean. If your WordPress is running under version 5.6.2 and um, you have a username and password, so, so, uh, it doesn't have to be admin, right? It can be any user. And the WordPress, ver the WordPress is running PHP 8, then you can just go ahead and exploit that vulnerability. As you can see, it's fixed in version 5.6.3, so go ahead and update your WordPress installation if you haven't done so if you click on that we see here the proof of concept your description and the affected versions now we're gonna do all of that ourselves okay so now we know that it is actually vulnerable to that exploit next step is we need to check if we have access to the WordPress so we go to WB admin and for that scenario we're given a set of credentials
Now trying to log in. Let's see what happens when we scan. Since we don't have a token here, the vulnerability scan didn't run. But never mind, we just found that via the official page of WB Scan. Now you can just ditch the current uh, shell. Let's exit. We don't, we don't need that anymore. All right. So now we have achieved the second requirement, which is logging in to the administration panel. Now let's check our profile. So we are, I think, a regular user, Corporation Test Corp. And our privileges are kind of restricted. So as you can see, we cannot see all of the elements on the WordPress panel, which means um, this user is actually a low privileged user, not an admin. But that's not a problem at all. You can just do fine with that user and exploit the vulnerability. All right, so now we know that we have low privileged access and we know that the WordPress is running 5.2.8, I remember. Yes, now it's time to create the proof of concept. So we close that, open the command line, new tab, and let me navigate to my notes, see how we will go over the proof of concept. Again, as a reminder, if you want to access the notes, just make sure you subscribe to the membership, if that's not much. Okay. So the first thing, we will create a proof of concept WAV file. So basically, let's go here and say uh, nano POC WAV. Okay, now we will get the contents, all of that, and put that inside the file. I'm going to explain what it does in a minute. So make sure to just change the server IP and the port here. So let's say port 8080 and our IP address goes here. Now we will have to retrieve the IP. If config, you got that, this is, my, this is the IP. Now we go back, we replace or paste that here. Okay, fine. Now why 8080? Why I don't select 4545 as I do, right? Remember, um, the reason is actually the payload here will access a web server and I will spawn, okay? So basically, I want to use a web server port. I will explain why. Now that's all you need to do for the payload. Just save the file and let's go to the explanation part. All right, so this file is called POC or proof of concept WAV, okay? And uh, what, this, what does this file do actually? So as you can see here, it uses um, XML elements to call the web server or our web server running on the port 8080 to retrieve a file called proof of concept.dtd, which we will create. And then it just dumps all of the content here to a new file called payload.wav. So it just creates another file. You can say it creates another file called payload.wav. Now the file that you will upload to the media library in the WordPress, it is the payload.wav. So now, what I'm, gonna, what I'm about to do now, I have the file proof of concept.wav, right? Now I'll create the next file, which is proof of concept.dtd. We need that file, right? Why? Because when I upload the payload.wav, what's going to happen is the WordPress will request the file proof of concept.dtd. And if it is not on the web server, it will throw an error. So let's go ahead and create the P proof of concept DTD with the contents below. So let's copy that. And nano proof of concept dtd 
again remember to change the port the same one 8080 and your IP what does this file do good question now this file actually it retrieves the content of the password file etc password in an encoded format base64 encoded using the zlib in php8 that's why one requirement to exploit this vulnerability is the target having php8 and installed so basically the file will retrieve the content of the etc password but it will be encoded with base64 okay now the next step we will give the previous file permission to run once the file proof of concept.wav runs it will just create the payload file which we will upload to the media library so now give permissions to proof of concept wav and now run it So right now we have payload.wav. Let's check out the content of that payload. Indeed, that's what we want. So now we will upload, remember, you will upload the payload.wav. Once you upload the payload.wav, the WordPress will try to retrieve the will try to access your web server at port 8080 to retrieve the content of the file proof of concept of DTD so it's better or it's better you just uh, sorry you better have created the POC DTD before you upload the payload or it will not work so this is the file uh, POC DTD now we cut the content to make sure it is correct that's good now once the WordPress accesses the proof of concept of TTD, it will execute its content. The content it using, it will use XML entities since the site is vulnerable to XML external entity injection. It will use XML entities, right, to just retrieve the content of the password file in an encoded base64 format and return that to your web server log. So now the next step is we execute a web server. Four zeros for your local IP and 8080 for the port uh, on which the web server will run. So execute that, the web server is running. Now we go ahead and upload the payload. So we go to media, library, add. You see we have one here, right? Uh, let's remove that one. We don't want that. Delete. The problem is we cannot delete that. So let me upload mine and hopefully it will replace the old one. So, payload. This type file is not permitted for security reasons. See what's wrong again. So, we have the payload. I'm going to remove the payload we created. Remove the proof of concept. And remove the uh, other one, DTD. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go hit, hit back to the notes and just try to create the payload without creating another file. So here's the echo command. So, change the port to 8080 and change the IP to my IP. All right, enter ls cat or file payload. All right, so now it is an audio file. I think it worked. Now let's cut the content. Okay, now let's create the uh, another file which is poc .dtd. So we hit back and take 
this is the content of the DTT file. Copy that and um, nano poc.dtt. Oh, we forgot this to change the port 8080 and then the IP. Um, save that and now let's try to up let's get back to the web server is running and now try to upload the payload one more time so now it worked so just execute what i did if you're following what i did you just i just um, created the payload by executing the echo command directly on the command line without creating a new file okay then Go to media library and check the latest one which has been uploaded by me this is the date 8 september 2021 now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna access that one or not actually if you check the observer log you see we have multiple hits on our observer log so although we received no such file or directory nevertheless we will try to decode the pay the uh, pay 64 string we retrieved so how about that now in order to decode that we have to go back to the notes and check how first it was encrypted so it was encrypted using the zlib in php8 in order to decode that we will have to use also z library to decode that right so to do that we will just use a php file with this content so head back to the command line create a file called encode decode inside the file put this line so this line uses the zlib library to decode the base64 the base64 goes here so we go back to the web server copy this one start from here and paste it right here now php decode will reveal the content of the encoded string so indeed we received the content of the wb config file look at that so once i run the file i received the content of the database file or the configuration file so we see database user the password and the local host so now what we can do we can just log in to the mysql server as this user so let's try that mysql dash u and of course don't forget to specify the host now it will ask access denied for okay let's specify the password then it's not a good idea to type in the passwords in the command line it's better for the passwords uh, to be entered in a prompt so the password is this one unknown database huh okay let's do this okay now we're logged in so since we are inside the MySQL database, what could be the next step? The next step now is to show the databases and find the admin hash. So what do we do here? We type show databases. So we have information schema, MySQL, performance, sys, WordPress DB2. Guess what? This is the database we're interested in. Now we will set that as the database. So use WordPress DB2 show tables. So we're interested in WB users, right? So what do we do now? We select everything from the database, everything. Select star from 
there will be try users. So guess what do we have now? We have the admin hash. So user login corp 001 user pass email so here is our username test corp and here is the hash now here is the admin username corp001 and here it is the hash of that username okay then let's take this one and see what kind of hash is this most probably it is an md5 hash hash identifier paste that yeah it's wordpress md5 now use the on the river to just crack this hash so nano hash wordpress paste it here and now run john the ripper john hash wordpress dash dash word list hopefully we will find the password all right the password is there's a show. Yeah, it's here. No, no need. Teddy bear. So now teddy bear, we will log in with that. Log out of the current username. Now type in, guess what? You know, you have the admin password. Why staying with the low privileged login, right? So this is the password. And now the username was corp001. Corp. Let's see. And boom, finally we are logged in as an admin user. You see everything is shown here on the panel, administration panel. Now we can now we can check our privileges by checking all users and we see we are the administrator. The last user was an author, but nevertheless, it was an actually useful foothold on the WordPress panel by having a low privileged user. Now the next step is to spawn a reverse shell, right? So we go to themes, theme editor, and check what is the current active theme. It is 2020, 2021. Go to 44 template. We will replace that template with a PHP reverse shell from Pentest Monkey. So CD back ls sudo mount my rep. CD repo, CD tools, CD PHP. Now we will grab the content of that file. Uh, let's check it out first. So, this is the correct IP, the correct port, everything is fine. Now I just want to copy the content of that file and paste it into the theme template. Tools, where is the tools? Okay. So PHP. All right. Copying that back to the theme, paste, and now make sure the listener is running. Okay. So, save. Enable to communicate back to the side with fatal internal errors. Ah. Uh. How about now? Still. All right, let's try something else. Let's try the archives.
paste our payload and again we cannot do that okay let's try with the plugin instead so let me check on the hello dolly so we go to plugin editor make sure to edit the plugin while it is inactive select all right save so this has been successful now we will just activate the plugin it has gone yeah that's fine but we were able to edit it now we will navigate to the plugin see if you can trigger the universal there will be content plugins slash hello and indeed we get the remote shell on the machine id dub the data now that is fine for the current machine we're not required to do any privilege escalation and that's not for the that's not the scenario actually so from a simple wordpress vulnerability into a remote shell on the system now most importantly i want to get you started up and running with the room this is from try hack me now let's answer the questions based on the result of number one what is the name of the database for wordpress user so if you check out the config file it was somewhere here i hope i didn't delete that okay so what's the name of the database so checking back database database name was wordpress db2 based on the results of number one what are the credentials you found user password so the credentials are as you can see the dark dark t no, the dark tangent i thought it was the dark agent and the password is right here super secret 132 Enumerate, enumerate and identify what is the DPMS and installed on the server. Good question. Now, if we check the MySQL login, it should be somewhere. Nope. Okay. So it is MySQL. Based on the results of number four, what is the DPMS version and installed on the server? So, finding the version now. What is the version of the DPMS and installed on the server? Select version. So it is 573.5733. Based on the results of 4, what port is the DPMS running on? Show variables like port. So it's running on port 3306. Compromise the DPMS. What is the encrypted password located in the WordPress user's table with ID 1? So we saw that the database or the password password was uh, it was here, but I think we found the password at other uh, shell here. What was the password? Oh, Teddy Bear. Okay, so Teddy Bear. Oh, it's asking about the hash. So we have to retrieve the hash from the table. So take this one, this is the hash. Based on the results of number seven, what is the password in plain text? So Teddy, there. Compromise the machine and locate flag.txt. So there is a flag we have to locate, fine. We forgot to do that. So ID, uh, 
cd home cd stocks cd uh, cat flag ah cd flag all right ls cat flag and this is your final flag So that was about today's video. I hope you liked that and enjoyed it and see you in the next video.